Home ownership. It's the foundation of all wealth and can be passed down generations tax-free through a trust, which I will discuss later in the home buying process video series that you're watching now. So if you've been thinking about purchasing a home or investment property, I think that is awesome. So whether you're a first time home buyer, you have a growing family and maybe you need more space or you kick the kids out, maybe they're off to college and you're ready to cash out and possibly downsize or move to wherever you want, or maybe you're looking to purchase your first investment property. Maybe you're a seasoned investor. Whoever you are, this video series will take you step by step the entire home buying process. My name is Jordan Dove and I'm a Realtor in Las Vegas and the team lead at Dove & Associates powered by Nationwide Realty. In this video, we're going to talk about you getting ready to purchase a home, what to expect and what you should start to begin doing. The very first step is decide if you will be purchasing with cash or obtaining a mortgage to purchase the property. If you are selling a property, you may want to use all of the proceeds to cover the next purchase, or you may want to put a down payment and finance the remaining balance of the purchase price. If you are a first time home buyer or maybe a buyer that does not own property or you may not have enough cash to cover the entire purchase, you will need to decide what type of financing works best for you. Now, there are several ways to finance, including traditional and creative ways, but I'm going to discuss the most common forms that most buyers use of traditional financing, and those finances are conventional, FHA, and VA. I'm going to do a separate video which dives deep into the details about those programs, and I'm going to do an interview with Chuck so you have all the good information, and there will be a link to that video in the description of this video when it's complete. So if you are purchasing with financing, expect to close anywhere from 30 to 45 days to complete your underwriting in the process. If you are purchasing with cash, you can close in as little time as you want so long as the inspection process is complete and satisfactory to you during the due diligence period. Now there are costs involved with purchasing a property and this includes your down payment, which can be anywhere from 3 percent to as much as you want to put down. I believe my mortgage partner Chuck with Right Choice, the minimum amount they can finance is thirty to forty thousand dollars. So keep in mind that the more you put down, the less your monthly mortgage payment will be and the more favorable terms you may get, especially if you have a higher credit score. There are also additional costs which we call closing costs and these can include escrow fees, title insurance, lender fees, brokerage fees from your agent, appraisal costs, inspection costs, homeowner's insurance, which is prepaid, uh, HOA fees if the home resides in a common interest community, and other miscellaneous costs. And, and it does vary. So for example, in Southern Nevada, on a $450,000 purchase price of a property, you can expect to pay around $9,500 in prepaid and fixed closing costs. This does not include your down payment. Keep in mind, when in a buyer's market, you can always ask the seller, in any market, ask the seller to provide you a concession, which is funds given from the seller to the buyer to assist you with closing costs. So now that you've decided whether you're going to be financing the purchase of your new home or buying in cash, the next step is to choose the right real estate agent for you. And now I get it. I understand that just about everybody knows an agent, has a friend, knows somebody who knows somebody, an agent, an uncle, whatever. And that's great. That's excellent. But just like in any profession, there are great teachers and not so great teachers. There are good cops and bad cops, no pun intended. We love our law enforcement. There's great doctors and there's average doctors. You know, you get the point, but what I recommend you look for is this. Number one, you've got to go with a full-time agent with experience and no offense to part-time agents who do real estate as a side hustle, who may do a couple deals a year, but unfortunately so many things can go sideways in a real estate transaction and those who do not practice real estate full-time, they're putting you and their clients at a disadvantage. Their work, their job may interfere with being available to you and anything else that can go on in a transaction. 
We have a team of full agents, full-time agents and support staff, which allows us to handle higher volume and give you better customer service and a better experience for you and our clients. You also want an agent who has experience, someone who's worked with both buyers and sellers and have done many, many transactions over the course of their career. Not all transactions are the same and the skills of agents, they get tested over time. Number two, this is important. Look for accreditations. Agents who have accreditations have undergone additional vigorous training and education and put their money where their mouth is. These accreditations are not cheap and they take hours upon hours to achieve. For buyers, look for the ABR designation, which stands for Accredited Buyer's Representative, which I have, or a CRS, which is the Certified Residential Specialist. Those are the top two designations for buyer's agents. Number three, use an agent who provides you value. If you're making offers on properties without any market data, or an agent is trying to push you to do something without you making that decision, run for the hills. Make sure an agent can explain their duties, be able to explain the purchase contract in detail, because the reality is real estate is all about contracts and numbers, okay? Number four, search for your agent online and read reviews. A quality agent is going to have reviews from real clients on their Google business page or their Zillow agent profile page. So go read what other people are saying about them. If they don't have any reviews, they probably don't have much or any experience. If they have several negative reviews, that should be a major red flag to you. Also, check out their social profiles, see what kind of marketing they do and see if they provide valuable content like this video and this video series. But last but not least, make sure you feel comfortable and trust them. Use logic and trust your gut feeling. So moving on, once you know how you'll be purchasing the property and you've selected the best agent for your needs, it's time to get pre-qualified for your mortgage or provide your agent with proof of funds that shows you can cover the purchase of the property like a bank statement. After you've checked all these boxes, you can proceed to start your home search. And it's an exciting time, it's really fun. And you wanna make sure that you make the best decision that is best for you. During this time, I will provide you with the buyer's questionnaire in which we will go through your needs and wants lists and set up a search in our portal for you. From that point, we will then schedule a time to view properties. We're gonna run the numbers for you, a deep number dive, and then negotiate the best possible deal for you. Once you have decided on a property to make an offer on, and that offer is either outright accepted or accepted after counters, we will then open what we call escrow. Escrow handles the funds and transfers clean title of the property from the seller to the buyer. We will also schedule your inspections, review inspection reports, negotiate repairs or credits if applicable, provide you with options for a home warranty and homeowner's insurance, walk you through the appraisal process, make sure that those repairs are complete with the final walkthrough. We're gonna finalize your signing of documents and several other tasks that are required to purchase property. And we make the process as easy as possible for you. Then boom, you are now the owner of that beautiful new home to start the next chapter of your life. In our next video of the home buying process series, we will discuss the offer of the home, which is called the residential purchase agreement. We're going to talk about how we run the numbers and provide that information to you. We're gonna talk about the offer and negotiation strategies, closing dates, seller concessions, the home warranty, and so much more. I'm just so excited to be working with you. I love what I do. Our team is here for you. Again, I'm Jordan Dove at Dove & Associates. If there's anything that I can ever do for you or my team, just reach out. My contact information is all over the place, okay? Take care, God bless, and be well.